Hey everyone, Rick Hong here for Hollywood First Look Features. We are at the Paley Center for Media to talk with the stars of ABC's Mixed Dish. Let's take a first look. In the summer of 1985, I was 12 years old and I was living with my family on a commune. We ate together, prayed together, and even slept together. I would have told you it was perfect. But the government would have told you we were a radicalized cult in violation of over 47 ATF regulations. My peaceful little world had been taken away. When are we going back home? This is our new home. What? Hey, hippies. Harrison Jackson III was my grandfather. I'm going to make more real world money to pay for this real world house that your entire family survival is dependent upon. <laughs> That is why I hate guns. My little brother, Johan, looked at everything like one great big magical adventure. My little sister, Santa Monica, complained like a woman with no kids on her third divorce, which interestingly enough, she would eventually become. And when we got to school, we got introduced to the real world. I'm too little to die. Real quick. What are you weirdos mixed with? What's mixed? <laughs> My parents had sent us out into the world with absolutely no warning that being mixed was even a thing. Imagine being the new kid when no one in the world is like you. But you have to understand. How do you like going from blackish to mixedish? Because like you're the creator on this. So did it take a lot to convince the network? We could we could I have a story, we could do it this way. Um uh it did not take much convincing. Uh, Rainbow Johns is a character that everyone already knows and loves, played by Tracy Ellis Ross, the Golden Globe winner of Tracy Ellis Ross. Um, and so, no, they were very excited about it. And, and But, you know, Blackish, I was there for five years, uh, had a, a lot of great times. It was a bittersweet sort of opportunity to go to Mixish and, and do something different, leaving a lot of friends and family behind. But at the same time, this is a story that um, I have a very personal connection to and really excited to tell. We're hoping for a very immersive 80s experience, from the music, to the hair, to the fashion, to even just the culture of the way people um, interact with each other. Um, but it's not so much a remember when, like we don't want to just be pointing to things and be like, oh, do you remember VCRs? But, but more how the culture affects our characters and the way they interact with each other. You go from one network series, you close out a cable series, and now you jump back onto another network series. Like, how is that for you? I mean, like, you're just like nonstop working. You know? I, I, I wish I could say I had a plan, but I don't. I, I'm, just, I'm just a fortunate dude at the moment to be an actor that you know is still working at my mathematical age. Well, speaking of age, actually, because I was thinking, you're this like good-looking guy, and I mean, so when the role comes to you to play the grandfather, are you looking at saying, but I should be playing Mark's character, not the <laughs> grandfather? <laughs> no, I, I, I think I've realistically accepted that grandfather is certainly in the wheelhouse no matter who what kind of a grandfather it is I'm certainly age qualified for it yeah. I heard that you actually don't know much about the 80s other than a little bit of music little bit of music yes but otherwise nothing I know nothing do you, do you like toys some yes some, okay some. okay well I, when I was a kid in the 80s I loved toys and this was one of my favorite toys I want to see if you know what this is Cube is. It's like not only 1980s, it's 2017, 2018, 2016, 20 everything. Awesome, you are a genius. Okay, so why don't you tell me a little bit about Santa Monica Johnson? Well, Santa Monica Johnson sometimes drowns her sister and brother in sass a lot. Her little snippet lines are super funny, and the director made these lines for me. I, I'm just so appreciative of the director. When I say these lines, I work the room. <laughs> yeah, I believe it. I bet you. Johan is a very adventurous and curious kid, and he takes on many different fashion and styles and roles throughout the episodes. So, what, what do you think of these styles? Because, like, it's 2019, so I mean, the 19s, I, I grew up in the 80s, so I know, but the 1980s has a unique style to itself. So, like, what's your first impression? I was like, Wow, they actually had some pretty good fashion. I was not expecting the 1980s to really deliver that amount of fashion. I was very surprised. Talk to me about playing Bo Johnson, Rainbow Johnson. Did you watch Blackish to get some sort of idea of Tracy's character when you were like before you auditioned or anything? 
Yeah, I did watch some of Blackish just to see what Tracy does, but also studying like Tracy in real life. She has that same comedic timing, positive presence that Bo does, so that was really helpful. But I also had to, in a way, block out my character's future because um, in Blackish, we already know what Bo does. She's a doctor, she's amazing. But in mixed dish, Bo, um, younger Bo is still finding herself. So that was a part of you know the process of making this character come to life. Talk to me about this time warp because right now it's 2019. The, like you know, the show takes place in the 1980s. So like, what's your impression? Um, the fashion and the music is all super fun, and it's just really interesting playing a character who lives in the 1980s, but also learning about 2019, what's going on right now. It's super cool. Thank you so much for watching. The show airs September 24th on ABC. Until next time, I'm Rick Hong. You've been watching Hollywood First Look Features. Today's mixed kids can look up to rappers, ballerinas, athletes, a president, and a princess. The only heroes we had were DeBarge. You don't have to worry what those other kids think. They're idiots. And I want to be one of them. I want to be an idiot so bad. Tell me you didn't send these babies to school looking like this. The world smacked you in the face today, didn't it? You can tell me. It did. It really did. They watched TV for one night, and now this is who they think they are. What you talking about, Rainbow? We are living in a material world, and I am a material girl. In the summer of 1985, I was 12 years old. <laughs> oh! Anybody get my hair wet, and we fight. <laughs> and my life changed forever. <laughs>